question 57 pause the video answer it and get back and see what you get all right <coughs> so you've paused the video and you've answered it what do you get Let's see what it says a transformation maps the point 0 1 onto the point 3 p 0 1 onto the point p prime which is 3 negative 1 this transformation is a hmm, let's see sometimes it helps you know with this type of question to do a little sketch see what's going on p is at 0 1 0 1 all right one is here so this is p located right here and p prime is 1 2 3 negative 1 negative 1 so right here it's down at negative 1 and below 3 beside negative 1 and below 3 right and this is p now rotation 180 degree about 2 0 all right this is let me use this this is the point 2 0 if you have this rotated about 2 0 180 degrees I have to go 2 to the left and 1 up if you plot points down here you would go 2 to the right and one down. No, you'd have parts three. It's not it's not A. A is out. Alright. So A is not. It's not it. A reflection on into the point two zero. Two zero. Well if you reflect this it would it would be the same thing. If you reflect this over this point it would come down here but you just like where you'd have to go three to the left and one up you'd have to go two three i mean two to the left and one up you'd have to go two to the right and one down and it would be below four not three so this wouldn't work all right glide reflection in the line y equals zero all right y equals zero is the x-axis if you glide it to three then reflect over well it's possible you know if you reflect over the x-axis it would have been one above the x-axis and then it end up as one but down below the x-axis that's a possibility right let's look at this i believe it's good work let's look at this first translation of the line three negative one if you have zero one and you add it to three negative one you get 0 plus 3, 3, 1 plus negative 1, 0. But it didn't end up at 3, 0. So this is the only answer that is valid. So answer for question 57 is C.